Hello, and welcome to Decorating on a Budget. I'll be your host this evening as we go through this super spooky Halloween special. So with a quick trip to your local dollar store and a healthy amount of arts and crafts supplies, we can jump right into the video. The first thing you need to know is that cutting out or painting on a spooky face to your household objects is a fun and inexpensive way to help spookify your house. For example, I painted on this planting pot that I found at Goodwill. Then I decided to add some glittery ribbon to the top of it, which I found at Dollar General for only a dollar. And to finish it off, I added one of those plastic candles for a bit more glow. You can find these at Dollar General as well for only a dollar. Of course, you can decorate other things as well, like glasses, bottles, and even paper plates. Paper plates are super cheap, and there's so many creative things that you can do with them. By painting on some eyes and a mouth, you can make a ghost. If you add some googly eyes and make some paper legs, you'll get a spider. And if you're feeling really creative, you can make any kind of monster you'd like. Speaking of getting creative, it's time to talk about cardboard. Cardboard is by far one of the easiest and cheapest things to use when making decorations or props. This is because cardboard is so much sturdier than things like paper, and you can easily obtain it by going to any general store and asking for their empty cardboard boxes. Now I've seen all sorts of projects online, like cardboard pumpkins, maybe cardboard tombstones, and even cardboard haunted houses. But since we're trying to keep things simple, I found that cardboard silhouettes are a cheap and easy way to stay spooky while on a budget. Take for example, this cardboard bat. First I trace the bat out on cardboard, then I cut it out, and finally I painted it. When you're done with it, you could hang it on a window, stick it on a wall, or maybe even prop it up next to some other decorations. So far the things I've showed you have been fairly simple crafts that might even make a great craft day with kids. But what if you're not that crafty of a person and you just want to show some Halloween spirit? Well don't worry, I've got the things for you. Browsing through the local dollar store, I was able to find some Christmas lights. But instead of Christmas colors, they came in blacks, oranges, greens, and purples. Now you could hang these outside just like Christmas lights, or you could try to incorporate them inside. For example, I was able to hang them behind my desk so I can feel the spooky vibes even when I'm browsing my computer. And of course, it wouldn't be Halloween without fake spider webs. These webs are pretty cheap, and they can help pull together just about any setup. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have today for decorating on a budget, but I'm hoping that something in here strikes some creativity in you to go decorate for the Halloween season. And this is your host, signing off. <laughs>